everybody, Geek Kippy here, and we're playing Fallout New Vegas today, and here's part two, and uh, let me repeat from the introduction, since that music during the intro of the game is loud, uh, I just watched Fallout, the TV show, and uh, kind of got inspired by what happened. So, I was going to play Fallout 4 because the new Fallout mod, Fallout London, is coming out. But after seeing this TV show, I decided on New Vegas. And if you watch the show, you'll see why. Anyway, because uh, Season 2, I think, is going to be mostly in New Vegas. But, so, we are in you know, uh, Pleasant, Pleasant Hills or whatever. Just got out of the tutorial, right? Let's see here, map, inventory, pit boy. Let's see, skills, perks, general, hit points, level one, items. Pistol, we got binoculars. Okay. Shetty, mercenaries, grenade rifle. Okay. Caravan shotgun. I got thirty-eight. Ten. We stick with the shotgun, huh? Okay. How do you put it back? Do you holster it? Yep, R. Hold R. Okay. Open vending machine. Oh, oh yeah. How many? All of them. All of them. All of them. One of that, that. Armored 13 jumpsuit. Okay. I'm going to need all the bobby pins. Body cap is yep. Oh yeah. All them. First one is grenade rifle, sure. All the stem packs. I don't need any. Hey, hey. What's this? Sure. Mm. Eh. Weapon repo, oh, yeah. Okay. Should be good. It's a run, does it? Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't have a shotgun shell. Shells. Hold on a second. Uh, weapons. Okay. Huh. What happened to my stuff? 
Hold on a second. Ouch. I was giving it to him. I'm a dumbass, aren't I? Steal stuff. I don't want to steal stuff. What do we got here? Mineral floor. Okay. What's up? Hey there. Chat. You must Wait, be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well, what the heck, if you ask me? If you're hurting for chat, I've also got dots on surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you give what you pay for. Okay, so uh... And in it. Oh, I need some 20 gauge rounds. Nineteen. Uh, oh. So we have to, yeah. Now. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on, chat. You're looking to buy some supplies? The, the leader was a New Vegas type. A typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with a probably hired guns. Mm. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Tough sons of bitches. Me, me, but not crazy. They'll, they'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal with evil chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across have been made by great cons. Twice. Oh. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card table. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. That's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. 
I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's gotta be a good thing, right? Hmm. Take it easy now. What that robot? Where is that robot anyway? This. Well, you're just a settler. Might as well go into the saloon. Easy Pete. What's up, Easy Pete? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Easy Pete, I got junk. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay, I already know. Why do they call you Easy Pete? Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hmm. I don't even know why you Keep your Easy gun Pete. handy if I'll you go, go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Okay. Well, I'll look out. Oh, whoa. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. What do we got here? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Okay, fuck you. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Everything all right? No. Yeah. Goodbye. Until next time. Okay. idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Okay. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. 
Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay. Dog? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Uh, if we move quietly, okay. we can get the jump on him. More likely to hit something vital that way. Right. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay. Shoot her. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. They're all dead. Oh. 
Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. Okay. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Sure. Interested? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. If I go back, well, look oh, man. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay.
Shirts. Okay. Four tries, huh? Okay. Four attempts. Okay, how about this? Hello? Hold on, the cat won't slip out. 
by the school. Howdy, partner. Whoa. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, yeah. Thanks for digging me out of the grave. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Yeah, how did you find I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle in. Hey, anyway. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! Okay. Must be up here. Okay. Well, must be the place.
No. supposed to find that lady's stuff. Cemetery and schoolhouse. Okay, well, I'm going to continue searching, and uh, I'm try to get some stuff done here. I go back to the cemetery.
Go. Fuck flower. Boy, my was a shot, huh? Leave me the arrows point me over here. Maybe I'll just follow it. Take the duct tape. Okay. Let me see what you got. Yeah, this will be just fine. Just fine. All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay.
say Durr. One. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Huh. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I'm heading back to the prospector. Okay. I could use a drink about now. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. I'll go meet Trudy. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand, then go over soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hmm. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you gonna do? Then? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. There was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Mm. All right. All right. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Well, yep, wouldn't, but you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. He's a convict. Just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like... Yeah. Not much, other than they were a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. <laughs> they were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. If fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. Well, try and to that Mr. It. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman.
I know that oh. thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Okay. You don't like them? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Oh. Yeah, could be. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. Hmm. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Hmm. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Okay. Fine by me. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Oh. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Of course. Yeah. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Hmm. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on. And that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Be careful out there. I'll try. I want this radio. Repair. Okay, well, I'll work on that later. Uh, I don't want to activate her computer. Alright, get out of here. Now, what the, what those guys? Ghost down gunfight. Offer to help. Okay. Where am I going? Up to Ringo. Okay, well, I take a sip from my trusty canteen. Cool. Well, before I go to help Ringo here, I'm going to stop about an hour. Keep it about an hour each part, maybe. And uh, we'll keep this up, all right? So uh, join me next time for part three. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.